In this video, I'm going to introduce some out of the method in Stata. One bad thing about Stata, I have to say, is that it output just sucks. It didn't compatible with Word. It didn't compatible with Excel. And it isn't like Stata is release one or release two. It's Stata eleven, and come on, you still didn't support fully support Word. Uh, so anyway, there are some good hard people write, write program that will allow us to uh, output to do the output more efficiently and more professionally. That is actually one good thing about Stata is that although the basic infrastructure sometimes then quite satisfactory, there are a lot uh, user write uh, user return algorithm that's really handy and can really be helpful. Okay, so let me first introduce the most usual way that you would, may you may doing the stuff is by just co uh, copy the test or copy the table. Or copy as a picture. Sometimes I do that uh, so that the format can be preserved. But that is not the way that most academics are doing output. I think most academics entry level are doing log. Basically, using the Stata has a log system that can re re uh, can take record of all the action you have made, and most of do file have a built-in logger, so that every time you modify your do file, uh, you can sh sh share both do file and log file to other people, so that they can know what the heck you're doing. Log it is quite like use data and uh, log is quite like you the data import so basically you will use log using uh, uh, address I usually have the option to replace uh, here so that if I overwrite it again again it won't report error otherwise it will tell you that the log is there and the state account override it. After all the stuff you want to record has been ex ex implemented, you can use log close. Just notice that if something wrong happens in the middle of the do file implementation, the log has opened but not closed. Next time you read on the do file, it will report an error. Anytime you run into that problem, just close the log by using log close, then re oh, re run from start the problem will be solved. Okay, enough talking. Let's do this. So when you using the log, it will begin with a name, a log, a log type of stuff, the header, and uh, it will tell you that the log has been closed. So let me go to the place I save the log. This is the test. You can see that it put uh, have a nice output in the TXT. However, when uh, when whenever you try to input that into Word, it becomes a little bit ma messy. So the problem that you have to use certain font is called Korea New. Uh, let's see. Nine, so it will preserve most of the format, although not quite. So this is, I think, uh, one way and the most common way to share the log. Actually, there's other ways. Now, we today we are going to introduce two outside function that will help us to output files. First, we will introduce how to output tables. Uh, which is actually surprisingly even harder than output regression tables. The table output we will talk uh, we were using is a function called tab out. Uh, we you can download the full tutorial at this website. I'm not going to go over in details, but I will actually do a very simple. Uh, example to illustrate 
how you can output the files. Now the uh, we want to output this output a file that is class tab race and sex by having the survey weights and our chi square statistics. Should what should we do? We just tab out. Oh, first thing first, you have to use SCC and So first thing first, you have to install tab out uh, function from uh, outside source. One thing that command you would like to use will be sc install tab out. Okay. Once you install tab out, you can output the file by tab out. Uh, then it's just like tab. We're using race sex. And using you can save as XLS. Then we have starting to pumping option. The first option will be just survey, which will be same to use survey weights. Uh, stats we will choose chi. C means cell. In the cell, each cell we want frequency. And uh, actually, we also would like to specify a uh, cell percentage. But if you are using weights, you can specify only one of those. So we have we have to choose between frequency or cell. And it's up to you to make the call. And we can also label it by calling count. And uh, let's see what will happen. So This is the final output instead uh, about the tab out. Previously, I run several wrong specification, and I shamelessly cut them off from the video, so you didn't see how miserable I failed before. But I would like to point out several mistakes I have made. First, in this line, the problem is that it's it's actually called C lab rather rather than C label. In this line, everything is fine, other than. The stats should be chi square, chi two rather than chi. This line, well, the problem is that I didn't have the replace, so the the data won't overwrite the previous exi uh, existing file. So now everything is fine, and we can have a look. So you can see this is way much better than the usual stuff you will copy paste from Stata. Uh, well, we still need to do some cosmetic change. For example, actually it would be look much better if we merge the two and set the right uh, space here. You can play with the tab alt stuff and there's a nice tutorial I have shown you before which is really helpful and can make your table really fancy. Okay. Now let me show you another example of the uh, output regression tables, which is way easier than the stuff we have done here. Okay. Now I'm showing you some uh, regression that I'm running myself. So here I'm defining the variates and co and uh, two co two set of covariates. I'm defining outcome variable as the percentage of risk asset in your total portfolio. Now I have two specification. One is a full example. One is a truncated example. And I would also run the two specification on two variables. So that effectively means I will have 
actually for regression and there will be a lot of variables floating out there I don't want to see any of them what I want to see is actually only rolling coefficient of market return market volatility log income log wealth and age okay so this is the trick you need to first add, when you after you do the regression you need to ask to uh, a name of the variable that will temporarily store the regression output then after you store it you just ask tab to show them so let me show you I have to use all this okay so here is a very succinct table that has all the coefficient uh, number of observation are uh, just the R square and also start there so it's quite nice to see how it works out actually I can change the label here and the label here but I'm just too lazy and you can you guys can play with the help file there have a lot of interesting stuff there so you can also choose the statistics you can also uh, choose either to report uh, standard error or p-value or confidence interval and uh, I think you can also uh, specify yes specify uh, where which coefficient to keep which coefficient to drop what is order of the coefficient that be uh, displayed and uh, what's the label, title, M titles, yeah, a lot of stuff. Interesting stuff there can make your table really fancy. Uh, now I'm just going to show you what if what it will looks like if I didn't do all those stuff. So I'll basically carry out the quiet and I'll run it again. Okay, you can see the table is really long and uh, it's kind of hard to read especially comparing across tables but if I cross tab this way it's just much simpler and actually you can do the same thing to output your file by just changing S tab to S out and since there's so much variation in the S tab and S out function I can't explain them one by one here and actually I don't know all of them myself so I will just leave the viewer to explore themselves thank you